You know, I... I should have made a prediction video of the Utah game. I'm mean, not prediction reaction video, but you know, I'll do a reaction video on this one. God, what sucks. This was the only game in the first round. I got wrong. Why did it have to be this one? I was hoping for finally getting a perfect. And I do mean a perfect prediction video in the first round. God darn it. Nah. Okay. So let's look at the stats. Dort, I have never heard of this guy, but he was playing lights out. The last shot I would have th thought, and I personally did thought this, I personally thought it was going to be Chris Paul taking the last shot. I didn't understand what that last play right there. Westbrook did pretty good. Gordon played, played pretty well. James Harden did well. Patrick. Uh, Kevin, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, Patrick, but Covington did play well overall. We look at these positions, it was kind of a close game, but 21 turnovers, my goodness. So, what did this season for OKC t told us? I feel like in this series, it was about, you know, Chris Paul versus James and Westbrook. Personally... No one saw Oklahoma City get that far. And I hardly doubt anyone thought this series would have gone to seven. Now, you could say, oh, it's because the, the Rockets have two MVPs. Okay. But they lost to a team that doesn't really have a big star, though. I mean, you just look at OKC compared to other teams that they're ahead of. Compare them to the Jazz. The Jazz should be better. The Mavericks. The Mavericks should be better. The Blazers should have been better. Kings. Spurs. Pelicans. Maybe Memphis. Like you know, those teams rosters. You look at those rosters. You say, you have to say to yourself, man, those rosters look better than OKC. OKC. It was one of those teams that I will admit. I did give up on them. Now, it has been a while since I remembered my playoff prediction video at the start of the season. I don't remember if I had a New Orleans. I'm uh, sorry, not New Orleans. OKC in there. If I did, no better than an 8. But what OKC did this season, it was because of Chris Paul. And, you know, Chris Paul has proven why he's still a baller. Why he is a Hall of Famer. This series even alone. In fact, actually, you know, the season even alone showed what, why he's such a great point guard. Why he's such a great leader. We all gave up on OKC. Just from the, be from the beginning. And the fact they almost won a playoff series against the Rockets, who are one of the best defensive and offensive teams with two MVPs. The fact they almost beat them is incredible. This is a season, you know, we all know that Oklahoma City doesn't want to remember because they lost in the first round, but this is a season that we have to look at for this franchise and this particular season. How we all gave up on Chris Paul because he couldn't stay healthy, he keeps pulling hamstrings and all that stuff as we remember since that Warriors series in the Western Conference Finals when he was a Houston Rocket. Things never work the same for him. But then we look at you know, Oklahoma City. No one gave him any chance. Just as no one gave the entire roster a chance. Oklahoma City. We have to give him a lot of respect. And I felt like Billy Donovan should have been coach of the year. Don't get me wrong about Nick Nurse. He's a good coach. But Billy Donovan did better. I think he did better. Because one, he's in a tougher conference. And people did think the Raptors were going to make the playoffs, even though no one expected the Raptors to be a two seed. Don't get me wrong, no one thought about that. But nobody thought Oklahoma City was going to do anything. People thought Chris Paul was going to be washed up. Honestly, this is one of the reasons why I'm sometimes shocked that Chris Paul didn't get even a single MVP vote. I don't think he did. 
and why he was not even in the MVP discussion. I know many people be like, well, but Giannis, Harden, AD, LeBron, why would you put him in there? Because look what he did to this team that we all gave up on. They made it in the playoffs, almost past the first round. Became a top five seeded team with an identical record like the Rockets. Even though they, it's true they once had Harden, Durant, and Westbrook. They may never get those type of players back. And also like Carmelo, Chris Paul, Victor Oladipo. This organization has come up with great players. But now they so far can't get past the first round. Even if Westbrook was the problem now. So, and what did this series prove to the Rockets? Well... They almost choked, but now they have a big test against the Lakers, which I don't think they'll win. I think Houston, I believe, will last in six or five games, but the Lakers will win. I just can't see Houston pulling an upset over the Lakers. I just can't. I don't think they have anyone to contain Anthony Davis. I don't think they have anyone to contain LeBron. And I don't care if you want to bring up, they won the regular season series. Okay. But two of the games, they won. There was no Anthony Davis. And the one you lost was with Anthony Davis. So th this is, it's a mismatch. But, give Houston some credit. We gotta give them some credit, though. If they would have lost this series... The coach would have been fired. And maybe some rebuild may have to happen. But overall, this was a good series. This was to me the most exciting one. Even though the Jazz, I even said the Jazz and the Nugget one would have been awesome. And it did become an awesome. I said, I believe said Denver in 7. I don't really remember in that video. But overall, this series... Was a great series. Probably one of the best series of all time. Because you just look at the history of these two teams and the players. On both organizations. What an impressive season for Oklahoma City. Really was an impressive season. But now they will fly back to Oklahoma. Well. We'll see if I can still do these reaction videos. Because this one. Was a wow.